Hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation on creation of ADPC and ADPP datasets. The two Adam datasets of PK analysis. I am going to summarize my presentation as below. To start with, I am going to give you a brief introduction to the two PK datasets PC and PP. Next, I am going to take you through the PK process flow implemented at various stages of PK submission. Then we will take a look at the creation of ADPC dataset followed by ADPP dataset. I have outlined some of the specific variables in each of these datasets which are very vital for the PK analysis. As you all know, FDA encourages the use of CDISC standards for the submission of clinical trial data. In CDISC, the SGTM domains are the source raw datasets and the ADAM datasets are the analysis ready datasets derived from the SDTM domains. For the submission of PK data, we have two SDTM domains, the PC domain for pharmacokinetic concentration and the PC do PP domain for the pharmacokinetic parameters data. After the PK concentration data is collected in clinical database, it is converted to SDTM PP domain and the pharmacokinetic parameters derived by the pharmacokinetists are converted to SDTM PP domain. The analysis datasets ADPC is derived from SDTM PC and ADPP is derived from SDTM PP. The ADAM datasets contain both collected data as well as derived data to enable PK analysis and for the creation of tables, listings and figures on the PK results. These ADAM datasets are based on the basic data structure, the BDS structure of CDISC ADAM. Coming to the PK process flow, as you can see in this slide, the sample is drawn at the site and from the collected sample, the concentration is measured and sent in the form of a CSV file. So we have the concentration data in the form of a CSV file. And on the other hand, we have the collected data in the form of the data set. We merge both of them to create SDTM PC domain. The ADPC data set is then derived from the SDTM PC domain. When deriving ADPC data set, the ADSL data set, which is nothing but the subject level analysis data set is merged to retrieve treatment group information and demographic information. This ADPC dataset can be directly used to create some of the concentration table listings and figures. And also this dataset is sent in the sent as a CSV file for WNL PK parameter derivation. The summarized PK parameters from pharmacokinetists are fed back to us and is converted to SDTM PP domain. The ADPC dataset is then derived from SDTM PP domain with additional information from ADSL in the same way as it was done with ADPC dataset. Next, we will take a look in creation of ADPC dataset. CDISC ADAM do not have guidelines for pharmacokinetics so far. However, the ADAM basic data structure variables provide sufficient flexibility to support PK analysis. By working according to the ADAM rules for BDS, we can create a standardized PK dataset. In order to create ADPC dataset, we merge PC domain and EX domain, which is nothing but the exposure dataset to retrieve treatment date and time data. And also, ADSL dataset is integrated with ADPC dataset to import general subject level information. Additionally, some derived variables are added to ADPC, which has its own purpose like handling of missing data handling of values below threshold and other sponsor specific data handling. Now let us look into the structure of ADPC dataset. ADPC is used for the submission of all concentration results and has the structure of one record per subject, per analyte and per time point. Hence concentration time profiles are stored across multiple records. ADPC typically contains all relevant variables from SDTM PC like U sub JID, visit information, and each time point within a particular visit. The primary subject level data like treatment information from ADSL are imported to ADPC dataset 
and some additional variables required for the PK analysis like the relative time variable which is the relative time to the start of dosing for each PK profile or added to the ADPC dataset. The actual concentration measure from PC domain are re-derived at ADPC with aval C variable being the character value of concentration measure and aval being the numeric equivalent. As an example here, the value of missing value of concentration measure is imputed to zero in aval variable. The qualifying records for analysis are flagged with the analysis flag variable ANL0 and FL. Now let us look into some of the important variables which we create at the ADPC level. Those variables are highlighted here param, param and param CD, ADTM, ASTDTM, AENDTM, A visit, A visit N, ATPT, ATPT N, ARLTM, ARLTM U, ANL ZZFL, AVAL, AVAL C, CRIT Y, CRIT YFL, CRIT YFN. Now let us look into each variables in detail. The param variable contains the description of the analytes being analyzed in the pharmacokinetic concentration and the abbreviation of the analyte is stored in param CD. Param is the numeric counterpart of each analyte. The daytime variable ADTM, ASTDTM and AENDTM. The date and time associated with the analysis value aval is stored in ADTM variable and its numeric version of the PCDTC variable from the PC domain. ASDTTM and AENDTM are associated with start and end time of an analysis interval, example for urine collection. The visit variables a visit and its numeric counterpart a visit n are derived from the variables visit and visit num from pc domain all pk concentrations that refer to the same exposure will have the same a visit n value the plan time points are presented in a tpt and a tpt n variables only for predose values they differ from pc tpt and pc tpt num variables from the pc domain the value of PCTPT num, which is in general negative for predo samples, is put to zero in ATPTN variable in ADPC dataset. If the variable of PCTPT num from PC domain contains the planned time points in minutes, it can be converted into hours in ATPTN variable in ADPC dataset. The relative time variables needed for the PK analysis is stored in the variable a rel time. If a relative time is calculated based upon the reference time EXSTDTC, which is the start date and time of treatment in exposure domain and with the PC date, date and time PCDTC. This value will be negative for predose values and the unit of the relative time is stored in the variable a rel time u. The analysis record flags can be used to select a set of records for one or more analysis. ZZ represents an index for a record selection algorithm which can range from 0, 01 to 0, 09. The analysis value in standard unit is reported in aval variable. In most cases, it is equal to PC, ST, RESN variable from PC domain. The character counterpart is reported in aval C variable. The aval variable is adjusted to handle various data handling techniques as described in protocol or RAP. For example, values that are below the lower limit of quantification can be imputed to zero in the aval variable. The analysis criteria are evaluated in the crit y flag wherein y ranges from zero to nine. For an example, if more than 10 percentage of the sample is drawn too late or too early from the planned time point, such values can be flagged with crit variable and can be excluded from the analysis. The outcome of the analysis criteria such as sample excluded yes or no are presented in the grid YFL and grid YFN variables. The ADPC dataset can then be directly fed into the Phoenix 
quinonin software or alternative pk software packages to derive pharmacokinetic parameters such as cmax tmax auc half life etc these parameters are subsequently used to populate sdtm pp domain which is in turn merged with the adsl dataset to create adpp dataset the adpp dataset is used in the statistical analysis of the pk data the adpp dataset has the structure of one record per subject per parameter similar to adpc we retain relevant information from sdtm pp like u sub id the pk parameter variables like pp test cd pp test and the result of each parameters in pp st resn and pp st res c variables along with its unit in pp st resu variable all subject level data is imputed from adsl dataset to be in accordance with cdisc adam guidelines we have param cd param variables and aval aval c variables additionally re derived in adpp dataset which holds the pk parameter description and its results the below are some of the important variables within adpp dataset the param param and param cd anl zzfl anl zzfd aval aval c crit y crit y fl and crit y fn the value of param is the pk parameter with its unit for example cmax with its unit ng by ml and the abbreviation of the pk parameter is stored in the param cd variable the numeric counterpart is presented in param n variable the qualifying records for analysis can be flagged with analysis flag variable anl zzfl where zz can range from 01 to 99 the analysis value equal to pp st resn which is the numeric result in standard unit from pp domain is stored in the aval variable and aval c is the character counterpart all pk parameters any pk parameters can be included or excluded from the analysis based on the criteria as specified in the rapa protocol by using the crit flags crit y crit y fl and crit y fn where y ranges from 0 to 9 thank you for your attention thank you